would love to stay in business. I, I just don't know that how it's possible at this point. A local grocery store announcing it's closing its doors ne next month. The owner says it's not because of the pandemic. Our Alexis Wainwright explains instead it's a local event every weekend that turns customers away. I feel like I'm living a nightmare. I'm going bankrupt. Amanda Wilson, the owner of Nana's Organics Grocery Store, said she's closing her doors after two years of business. Wilson said her store has had quite the challenge since August. That's when the Argenta Outdoor Dining District started closing Main Street for outdoor dining on weekends. We're not against the Outdoor Dining District. I'm so happy all these restaurants and bars are surviving and benefiting and profiting over I'm not. Wilson says the street closures are on her busiest day for shopping. I haven't once asked them to change anything except for to open the streets during the day. The store initially made $400 to $500 every Saturday, but now... The first Saturday we had two customers that the streets were closed. We did $32 of a whole day of sales. And after seeing this event take over Main Street for more than 10 weeks in a row, Wilson says they're losing a third of their sales. She says her customers have complained about the block roads and Wilson says they've tried changing their hours, hosting events and other stuff. But if they stay open late every day of the week, they'd be working about 58 hours. An extra $50 to stay open till 9 or 10 o'clock at night just wasn't worth it. So we weren't going to participate anymore. Wilson says she's tried reaching out to some of the aldermen and the mayor, but she was dismissed. I reached out to the city, but we haven't heard back yet. As of now, Wilson says she's shutting her doors at the end of November. After that, I have no idea right now. I will do something to keep Nana's Organics alive in some sort of way. It probably will never be anything like it has been before. Reporting in North Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.